Have you heard that cactus is making its way onto the runway? What? No way. Can you imagine wearing a cactus? Not really. No, seriously. You see, the forefront of fashion always seems to include leather. Yeah, I guess you're right. Like shoes, belts, jackets. Yeah, even hats, wallets, purses. The looks that you can achieve with leather are limitless. A mainstay, ageless, and long lasting. Yeah, you know what? I I'm starting to picture it. Wouldn't it be great if there was an environmentally friendly and cruelty free option that was part of your wardrobe? Bet you didn't think it was cactus. Now leather is long lasting, but it also has a negative impact to the environment. Does leather take a toll on water? How about land or energy? If you said all three, you're correct. Toxic chemicals are used in the production of both cowhide and faux leather. This is a serious note for those opposed to harming animals all in the name of fashion. But what if I told you that prickly pear cactus, that's right, nopales, are relatively new players in vegan leather and are already proving to be a great green alternative. What? If you think that's pretty cool, then cactus leather just might be for you. Meet Mexican entrepreneur Adrian Lopez Velarde, co-founder of the only cactus leather company in the world. He and his business partner developed and created this new leather-like material made with ground up cactus. The inspiration came after we used to work in the fashion industry and we also spent some time in the automotive where we were not very happy with uh, the ways that uh, uh, we were impacting on a negative way the environment on the processes of uh, tanning leather and also using synthetic pl uh, like plastics, in other words, like a PVC or polyurethanes. And um, so we left our jobs and we put uh, our minds into developing a sustainable alternative. So maybe it is time we rethink the next pair of shoes or purse. This might poke your interest. It grows without irrigation. In, in semi-arid condition, as in Arizona, you also have a lot of uh, cactus species. So you are very familiar with how resilient these, these species are. So really, it's a win-win for the fashion industry and the environment. So cactus leather is reforesting perennial cactus, helping the environment, doesn't use toxic chemicals, and it's PVC free. The process for making this green, see what I did there? is a lot less harsh on the environment. Cactus leather doesn't require much water and it absorbs carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And there's more. As we face the challenges of climate change with prolonged droughts and desertification, cactus farming just might be the answer in places exposed to drought, like right here in Arizona. But well, let's be honest, how comfortable can prickly pear cactus be? To answer that, let's learn how this gets turned into cactus leather. First, the cactus pads are cut. Think of it like a haircut. And then they're left to grow until it's time for another haircut or another round of harvesting. Next, time to wash and clean the cactus pad. This is a must before it gets thrown into a huge machine to mash. When the green mash reaches its perfect consistency, it's spread out to dry in the sun for three days. Finally, through a non-toxic industrial process, it is made into a vegan, organic, non-toxic, cruelty-free, breathable, high-quality leather. Working with big brands like uh, Fossil Group, uh, with H&M, um, Karl Lagerfeld, Adidas, and um, on the automotive segment with our material with uh, BMW and Mercedes-Benz. Did you know that cactus can grow almost anywhere on the planet that no other plants can? Rows and rows of prickly pear need very little water. That's a real plus for the environment. They can survive high temperatures, scorching sun, and very little rain. Prickly pear are very resilient, no pesticides required, which means no toxic chemicals into the soil. And they are really great at absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Another eco-friendly win. Let's find out if people know the difference between traditional leather and cactus leather. I have two purses right here. Take a look at them. Notice anything different between them? Um, I think I would have to say the main difference is that this one's a little more smooth while this one has some more texture to it. What if I told you one of them is made out of cactus? Really? That's correct. Take a guess which one. 
I'm not really sure, but I think if I just had to guess, it would maybe be this one. That's correct. This one's made out of cactus leather. Which one of these um, purses do you think is made out of cactus leather? Oh, really? That's amazing. I didn't know we could make leather out of cactus. I don't know. It's hard to tell. So this one's actually made out of traditional leather, and the bag that you're holding there is made out of cactus leather. Wow, that's amazing. It's so smooth. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the fact that you're not killing an animal. Very nice. I like nice. that better than the other one. It's <laughs> Can I have it? Thank you. <laughs> We even had uh, comments of people saying like, oh, how much is the leather? And we're like, no, this is not leather. Like they really think it is because of the way it looks, the way it handles, uh, the roundness, the spring of it. It's very, very similar to leather. Younger generations are looking at the environmental impacts of the fashion industry and within that, of course, is leather. And so an alternative like cactus leather uh, definitely provides that eco-friendly, sustainable alternative um, with, again, a little bit of innovation mixed in. Obviously, with cactus, you have the spines and it, the whole, you know, aura of a cactus is off-putting and, um, you know, don't touch me. And then to take it from something like that and into a product that you want to touch and feel, uh, it's really a great leap that um, is incredible. Hey, you had me convinced. I mean, just a quick search online and look at all these retailers I found. Fossil has a whole collection. Etsy has several vendors selling cactus leather stuff, and even Clay, they have a cactus leather sneaker. And if you're looking for high-end stuff, Karl Lagerfeld has even made bags. With more people now wanting to look good and do good, an alternative like cactus is now deeply rooted in the minds of designers and fashionistas. And while if all of this doesn't make you wanna go shopping and go hug a cactus, well, maybe not hug a cactus, but at least support the cactus, then I don't know what will. Are you ready to go shopping? Let's go.